Pocket knives can be used to cut rope or slice an orange. Unfold one of the blades and there won't be a dull moment. Folding knives actually date back to ancient Rome. Many centuries later, the smaller pocket-sized versions came along, allowing people to carry around knives without wrecking their pockets. They pack a lot into a pocket knife. It can contain several blades and tools, all of which can be retracted into the handle. To make pocket knives, rollers feed a strip of stainless steel to a series of dies. Like powerful cookie cutters, the dies punch out blade shapes. They cut holes for installing them in the handle, stamp the company logo, and form grooves with which the user can grip the blades. A trip into a fiery furnace hardens the metal. It's the first step in heat treating the blades. Once they're cool, an operator places blade shapes on the magnetized rim of a rotating carousel. It moves the base of the blades under an induction heating coil. The heat anneals that end, making it pliable enough to bend and easier to fit in the pocket knife handle. A robot now transfers a blade shape into a computerized grinder that bevels the edge but leaves it blunt. Honing will give it a cutting edge later. Here you can see the difference the grinding makes. Vibrating ceramic pellets polish the blades with paste for 32 hours to achieve a mirror finish. A magnetic belt collects them and transfers them to the next station. Meanwhile, a rocking cutting tool carves ridges into a piece of cow shin bone. The shin bone will adorn the pocket knife handle. They submerge a bag of those ridged shin bones in a vat of dye, tinting them a vibrant green. Cow shin bone is just one of many materials used to make pocket knives look attractive. Some are synthetic, and some are natural. Like this material, it's actual mammoth ivory they're riveting to the pocket knife hilt. They apply an epoxy adhesive to decorate these pieces of bone with metal inlay that's embellished with flourishes and lettering. They trim the excess bone so that it's flush to the metal liner. Next, they place a spring on the underside of the bone and brass part, followed by a rocker arm and a spacer. They finish off this sandwich with another bone-covered brass liner. They insert blades in one end, dipping each one in oil to lubricate it. A pin holds it all together. They pop different blades in the other end of the pocket knife and drive a pin into that stack. A pneumatic tool flattens the ends of the pins essentially riveting all the parts together. Sometimes they pound a shim between the layers to open them up so the knives can move more freely. It's a little fine-tuning. They grind down the pin heads to blend them to the rest of the pocket knife. Sparks fly as they hone the beveled edges against a belt sander until they're sharp enough to cut. After sharpening, they retract all the blades and buff the knife until it shines. Here, a laser etches an insignia into the bone handle. They enhance the engraving with paint. And now, you have a pocket knife that really makes a statement.
never slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love.